everybody, and welcome to this basic walkthrough that's going to get you started with form approvals. Form approvals is designed to help you meet your goals of streamlining processes and increasing productivity, so you can remove all those unwanted paper forms once and for all. There's a lot of power to form approvals, and it can be used for just about anything. I will take you through the basics, but there is so much more to explore. So don't forget, this is just the beginning of your form approvals journey. Today, I will demonstrate how to create a typical workflow process that has multiple levels, roles, and business logic. And while on paper it may seem difficult, we will break it down step by step so you see just how easy it is to create. Let's dive right in. First, we start by creating our form using Google Drive. Then, we set up our form to capture all the information needing approval. Once done, make sure to enable collect email addresses in your Google Form settings. This will capture the email address of the person completing the form each time a form submission is made. The add-on will use this email address to notify them of the outcome at the end of the workflow. Now to the magic of the form approvals add-on. Here is the add-on and where we start creating the workflow by first adding our recipients. Recipients are people that will receive requests to approve, recommend, acknowledge, or action, depending on their role in the workflow you are creating. In our example, the first recipient will be the supervisor. In our form, we will capture the supervisor's email address so we simply need to add a dynamic recipient and select the question that captures the supervisor's email address. Step one is now complete. Each time a form submission is made, the supervisor will be sent the request to approve or decline. Moving on to step two. For this, we need to add two recipients, the department manager and the head of the department. Plus, we need to add recipient logic so that it only routes to the department manager when the value of the request is up to $1,000 and head of department when the value of the request is over $1,000. In our form, we capture the requester's department, so we will use this question for our next recipients. Add another dynamic recipient and select the question that captures the department. Open the spreadsheet that is linked to your form and create a new sheet that stores a list of departments and corresponding department managers. From within the add-on, click More, then Recipient Lookup Table. Add a lookup table. Select the sheet that you just created and select the column that contains the department manager's email address. To make sure the department manager receives the request only after the supervisor has approved, we will set the receiving order of the department manager to level 2. In our example, we only want the department manager to receive the request when the value is up to $1,000. Therefore, we also need to add recipient logic. Click More, then Recipient Logic. Set it up so that it only routes to the recipient if the value of the purchase is less than $1,000. To finish off step two, we will repeat the same process for the head of the department.
With step three, we want three purchasing officers to receive the request at the same time, but only need one of them to respond. You will notice in this step also, the purchasing officers are actioning the request rather than approving, since they do not have the authority to approve. To do this, we will set up the purchasing team as a group recipient. Once the group is set up, we will click Add Static Recipient, enter the group name between curly brackets, set the receiving order to level 3, and change their role type so they need to action. We will also include a private message that only they will see. The workflow we set out to build is almost complete. For the last step in the process, we want our record keeper to always receive a copy of the final approved request. To do this, simply add another static recipient, set them to level 4, and change their role type to receives a copy. This is it! Using the basics of form approvals, we built the workflow we set out to achieve in just a matter of minutes. Don't forget there's so much more you can do. We've only scratched the surface. If you have any questions, check out our documentation online or don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. We're always happy to help.